Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of compare and order decimals. This is standard 5.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we are looking at books in the library that are arranged by the Dewey Decimal Number. And we have these five here on the side of the books. And we need to put these books in order from least to greatest. And then we're going to find the book that's in the fourth position. So that's actually kind of an interesting problem for us here. First, let's just list these numbers here. Let's first figure out what our order is going to be. So I'm going to take just this first one right here. 419, and I've got 18 thousandths, so that's going to go to the thousandths spot. And take this next one, make sure you line everything up neatly. 417.97. You notice it does not go to the thousandths spot. That's fine, we'll deal with that in a moment. So we've got 417. Dot three zero nine, and then I'll do this one down at the bottom four one eight dot five thirty seven, and then I've got four one eight sixty three, another one that does not go to the thousandths place, and that's perfectly fine. So I've got my five numbers here. First, I want to figure out how to put them in order. Then, obviously, once I put them in order, finding the fourth one is going to be pretty simple. But let's deal with these two numbers right here. You notice I lined them up by the decimal point. And you notice I, if I line them up by the decimal point, it doesn't really matter that they go to the hundredths place only and not the thousandths place. Now, the other ones do go to the thousandths place. Now, here's a trick. that If in case you ever need to compare just like two numbers and you're not really sure, because you might be thinking like this 97. Take a look at this 97 right here. Is 97 larger or smaller than 309? Right? That's a, that's a good question because really 97 itself is smaller than 309, but that's not really a 97. In order to compare the two numbers, one of the easiest things to do is to make sure they both go to the same spot. And that 9, 7, and then there's a blank. You can always put a blank filling in with a 0. Any blanks you have, you can always put a 0 because 0 has got no value. What that does is that just extends that number to have the same place value as the one below it. I'm going to do that for 63. I'm going to turn that into 630. Now that looks a lot different, doesn't it? 97 is actually, if we want to compare it to the thousandth place, 970. That's a lot bigger than 309. So that's one trick if you're ever dealing with numbers and the decimals and they don't go to the same spot, you could just put zeros at the end until they all line up. And visually, that's just a lot easier. You don't have to. You could have just left it as 0.97, but I find that a little bit easier. So let's put these in order from least to greatest. All right, so. They all have a 4 in the hundreds place. They all have a 1 in the tens place. In the ones place, I've got 9, 7, 7, 8, 8. So I'm going to deal with my two 7s. So I'm going to deal with these two first right here. But they're both 4, 1, 7. So I can at least do that, right? 4, 1, 7. I know that. It's 4, 1, 7, 4, 1, 7. Then I've got my, in the tenths place, my 9 and my 3. Obviously, my 3 is smaller. 309, remember we're going least to greatest, is smaller than 970. And I did put that zero there, so I'll just go ahead and drop that zero. That's just kind of imaginary. So I've got 417, 417. I've got two 418s. So let's put those two there. 418s. Line them up again, obviously. And my 5 is smaller than my 6, so I've got my 5... 37, my 63, remember that was an imaginary zero, and I'm going to end it up with 419018. I need my 1, 2, 3, my fourth position, and there we go, 41863, the answer is J.